What's going on guys? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, so we got a big project tomorrow that we're going to bring water to. Um, we've got Dragon back there with a 550 tank. Hi, we got another one right here and we have one on box truck which is out doing work today. And Seth's saying hey. Crazy boy. Alright, so I want to talk about tank placement. Now if we were building a full rig, if there was other stuff on here, this might change where our tank is. But you still want to make sure that if everything else is on here, and if that thing's full of water, where should it be placed? So, we definitely know, don't put it all the way to the back. We know that, right? Because it'll start fish tailing, especially if you have that added weight, it's not good. A lot of people say, put it perfectly over the axles. It's not bad advice, but it's not perfect. Um, be careful, dude. Now, you can see, I've actually got a little bit ahead of there, and I could probably, I could probably scoot it back six inches, maybe a foot, but it's pretty close to it. What the goal is, is that when this tank is full, for this whole trailer to be level. So that means that some of the truck, some of that hitch is supporting weight. Both axles are supporting weight. We wouldn't put it all the way forward, because then it's going to just put that, that axe, or that, um, that hitch and everything really down low and not be good for it, Seth. Crazy boy. Um, you can also see I've got the sludge sucker on here. I'm going to make a second video. We'll be following up with this. Um, but I also want to make sure, too, that with this bit of weight, I'll show you here through the mesh. But I got basically two boards on either side. I'm going to slide just a little bit more this way um, just to make sure it's perfectly centered. And then I'm going to go ahead and ratchet strap it down. Uh, that is not a permanent install. We are literally just doing the job for tomorrow. If it was other things, um, like we've shown in other videos, how we secured this one and how we also put the D-rings in for our box truck. That one has D-rings and it also has um, angle iron pieces of basically like four by four inch um, metal that's basically right there as braces to stop it from sliding around. So, hope that helps guys. Just make sure that when you're loading your tanks that you got them in the right spot. Have a great day.